What's up, Adrian here, back with another tech video. So, in iMovie, normally, you would only be able to crop into a certain aspect ratio. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to crop freely, how to custom crop, how to crop any way you like without the limit of the aspect ratio in iMovie when you're cropping a clip. So, let's say I import a clip, for example, this EV3 robotic testing clip. So, we, I usually, like, I think we usually import the clip directly into this gray section, the editing section. I don't really use the, um, Explorer, um, yeah, I think it's called the browser. I don't really use the browser. I know you can go to photos, you can go to iMovie library, or you can just drag it directly to the browser, but, um, I usually just drag it to the gray section. It'll also appear in the browser. So, I'm going to show you how you can crop an iMovie like this. Pretty cool, right? I'm just going to show you what it normally is. So normally, you put the clip in the gray section, you press crop to fill, which will allow you to crop, and you will only be, li you will be limited to a certain aspect ratio, whether it's 16 to 9 or 4 to 3. I think you can also do 4 to 3. It depends on your video aspect ratio, like the, the whole movie, the project aspect ratio. In my case, it's 16 to 9. As you can see from my cursor, I'm trying to make a square or I'm trying to make it vertical. It will not happen. It will only crop to 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So now I'm going to show you the workaround or like the method on how to crop freely like I showed you before. So let me delete this clip. And so this method has to be, the procedure has to be done before you import the video into the gray section, the editing section. So you can either drag it to your editing section and delete it and it will appear here or you can either drag it directly into the browser section, like so. And let's just, just use the second video, now let's just use the first video. So you select the video and the white, the yellow border will indicate that you've selected it and you press the crop button over here. Just like you will do in a normal video clip cropping. But as you can see it is different, you only have one button which is crop and when you when you cursor on it, on, when you hover on it, it says crop the clip. When you click it, you can see it is different. You get these lines over here which indicate that you can crop and we, any way you like. You can crop, you can only move the top, um, you can only move the top, um, you can own, you're allowed to only move the top edge down, for example, like so. Oh no, I didn't, like so. Or you can move the bottom edge up. Oh no, I didn't do that, right? You can move it like any way you like. Just as I showed you before. And basically that clip I showed you before was from here. <laughs> and I mean, you can do whatever you like with this. It is really, really, really cool. And as you can see, I can get a square. And I can move the square to here. And then when you press this tick over here, it will be saved automatically. If you press the tick again, it will be saved. And as you can see, there will be a black border. But don't panic. When you import this clip into your editing section, it will automatically fill it to the edge of the um, actual clip. So you won't have the black borders around it anymore. Except this side and this side because basically the aspect ratio is not 16 to 9 or 4 to 3, whatever. As you can see, it is really big, <laughs> it's, and the quality gets bad, but it gets really handy when you're trying to do picture-in-picture, picture because in picture-in-picture, picture you might want to have like another clip that is only maybe like half, or only a certain part of a clip, so it comes in really handy in some situations. And I hope this video helped you, and if you had any concerns, because people on Reddit, people on the, I think Apple support and on different forums say that you are not able to crop it freely 
it has to be locked to an aspect ratio but that is not true you have just have to crop it before you import it into your actual video clip editing so thanks for watching <laughs>